I switched from Fedora to CatchOS as my daily driver. And first I was very happy with it and wanted to keep it as my daily driver. But even though I liked it, after a week I switched back to Fedora. In this video I will tell you why I could not keep CatchOS as my daily driver. But I also don't want to throw shade on the distro because I still like it and I think it's a good project that you should give a try. Just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you. Therefore I will tell you what I liked about CatchOS first, what I didn't like but still wasn't a deal breaker and then I will tell you why I switched back to Fedora. You may have noticed that this is already my second video about CatchUS. In the first video I was focused on the performance and in this video I will tell you about my experience with CatchUS as my daily driver. I will link the first video in the description below. The reason why I switched to CatchUS was that I wanted to switch from GNOME to KD Plasma to test it for a longer period of time and I thought why should I change only the desktop environment when I can change the whole distro. So first let's talk about what I liked about CatchUS. The best thing about CatchUS was the optimization. For example, with Ubuntu and Fedora I often had to manually set the power profile to performance so that my CPU would run at full speed in games. With CatchUS I no longer had to think about the step and was always able to enjoy full performance. Also, all the applications I used were available in a recent version in the repo and easy to install via the package manager. You could say this is true for most distributions, but for example when I was using Ubuntu, I had to use the Ubuntu repo, PPAs and flatpacks in order to get all the applications I needed. Another very interesting point in my opinion is that I had no crashes and problems with SteamVR on CatchUS. With Fedora and Ubuntu I experienced regular SteamVR crashes, which had no impact on the gameplay itself, but constantly produced bug reports. I talked about these crashes in more detail in my SteamVR video, so check that out too if you're interested. Now let's talk what I didn't like about CatchUS, but still wasn't a deal breaker. What I didn't particularly like was the package manager. For example, install packages are not marked as install and have the option install and uninstall. For me personally this was not a huge issue since I can simply list the install packages in the terminal, but I would still prefer a nice UI solution. This is something that should be worked on, especially because CatchUS also wants to be beginner friendly. I also found the pre-installed wallpapers a bit strange, they look like something a 15 year old in the 2000s would have chosen. Of course this is not a real problem, but somehow weird and a bit funny to me, so I had to point it out. And now let's finally talk about the reason why I switched back to Fedora. The reason why I switched back to Fedora was because of problems after updates. I had CatchEOS installed on two systems, my test PC and my daily driver. On my daily driver the Bluetooth failed after an update, before the update it worked just fine and after installing Fedora it also worked fine. On my test PC which I updated less frequently, KD Plasma would no longer start after an update. I mainly use my test PC for my YouTube videos and I need something dependable because I have only a limited amount of time to make these videos. These are all problems that could be solved, but since I also use my daily driver for my full time job, I don't have the time to constantly solve potential problems after updates. Maybe Arch and rolling releases are just not for me, or maybe I was simply unlucky with my hardware. I would also be interested in your experience with CatchUS and other Arch based distros, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, leave a like if you liked the video and consider subscribing. See you in the next one.